But E is saying it's just, it's just a vitamin. It's just a vitamin. It doesn't do anything. It just gives you a bit of a, a bit more calcium, a bit more vitamin A. A bit more vitamin A. Vitamin rats! What's going on? Another lie that they've been caught out on. Another lie. You rats! You rats! I do not believe it. I think they paid some doctor in Russia, some backstreet doctor to get some medical files just uh, printed off. And they sent them into the USC. Well, not the USC, to water, USADA, whoever the- so Here's to the fighters, the fans on the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears on the fame. And here's to Az and Key, you ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show. Today we're going to be exposing Islam Makachev. He's a dirty drug cheat and we all knew it. Today I'm going to prove it. Just you wait and see. Let's get to it. So back in 2016, Islam Makachev took a substance called maladronium and they kind of skated around what it actually was, what it was for. And it was, a, it was all a bunch of bullshit anyway. But uh, apparently, if you haven't heard the story, this is what the story was. So... Uh, apparently, he had this secret art surgery for an arrhythmia problem. And after the, the surgery, he was given maladronium to help and aid recovery. Now, normally, we, we'd believe that. But there's a number of circumstances surrounding this that make it seem very sketchy. Along with other evidence that I've got just to show you that, that the guy is full of shit. He's taking drugs. He's a performance enhancing drug cheat. All you motherfuckers are on steroids. All you motherfuckers, all you're on steroids. I already know that. I already been, know, everybody knows that. And we're going to go through all the evidence today. So, starting with the interview that he did in Russian, we're going to break it down and have a little listen to it. And it comes up with some key factors that just don't, don't add up. There's a lot of things that in this interview that just do not add up. It's a bit sketchy, it's a bit iffy. Bring in all the other evidence that I found, and he, he just doesn't it doesn't feel right, which leads me to think that he's a drug cheat, a dirty little drug cheat. And uh, other people have uh, spoke about it before. Danuka being one of them. We had the IV uh, incident, the you know the thing with the IV in Australia. We'll we'll we, we're not going to cover that today. That that is something else entirely. But we're going back to 2016, uh, and we're going to investigate it now. We're starting off with the interview with Islam Makachev, and I think it's a reporter. It might not be. It could be someone they brought in to and ask the questions. So, uh, you know, as the, he can pre-record the answers and stuff like that. Or it could be Russian press. I do not know, but we're, we're going to listen to it now. It is in Russian, but it is subtitled. And we're not, we're just going to take the key points. Uh, they go off on some other tangent. We're, we won't listen to that. We'll just, the, the key points we, we want to listen to. So... Я посчитал в одном из текстов, когда у тебя была дисквалификация за мельдоний, там было написано, что таким образом вы лечили аритмию сердца у тебя. Mm -hmm. Действительно существовали какие-то медицинские проблемы? Да, у меня существовали проблемы. Я должен был, я даже выиграл вот по камере. Okay, so first of all, they, they're talking about he had, uh, he had an art, art, art problem, he had a rhythmia of the art, basically an art murmur. That, that's why he says, I think, an art murmur. Uh, something like that, and he was talking about how he wants to go to the Sambo World Championships, and then he ended up having um, some kind of operation surgery. Um, doesn't go too much into detail about what the surgery is and what the the uh, art problem was either. Тетовская версия боевой самбо чемпионат России должен был ехать на чемпионат мира в Японию. Прошел со всеми ребятами сбор в Подмосковье и уже вылетел. Just to give you some context around this, this was after he lost his first fight, first and only fight against Adriano Martins in October 2015. Uh, the timeline is then. It, uh, the Sambo World Championships were in November. I've done some re research and found that out. And between October and November is when he had the, the art surgery at, at some point. It could even be as late as December. Um, it, he found out he was about to go to Japan, which was in November. So he, I'm, I'm guessing it was November uh, that he ended up having the surgery either November, December time uh, around that. The, the, the timeline is important. The, the timeline is important. So remember that. 
5 шесть должен был вылететь а, на чемпионат мира в Японию. И за буквально неделю где-то меня поставили в курс, что вот так у тебя есть проблемы с сердцем, и мы не можем тебя отправить. Хотя эту Okay, so he's saying uh, a week before he was told his art isn't well. So I think it was around no middle of November, the Sambo uh, Championship. So it would have been November that he found out. Um, so maybe around no middle of November, late November, December, that he had the surgery. Um, mm. Important, important. Remember that. Remember December, uh, November, December. Problem, I won the Championship of Russia somewhere. В начале года, в феврале, а мир должен был быть в ноябре. Они, ну, сборные могли мне сказать в начале, потому что сразу ты выигрываешь Россию, тебя отправляют на полное медобследование, и тогда у меня вывели проблемы. Ну, я сейчас не знаю, я уже не стал тоже разбираться в там, okay. кому-то так выиграть. After that, they did a medical. Uh, after Russian Championship, they gave a full medical checkup and found this issue, which is interesting because he fought in the UFC in October. Interesting, interesting. Надо было сказать мне это прям перед чемпионатом мира, что я не мог ничего исправить, и вот так меня сняли чемпионата мира. Я уже начал более узнавать о своей проблеме, и мне попался врач очень хороший. So he's claiming that uh, they they did the tests and the medicals in February, and after the the Russian championship, and he's not saying when he actually found out or got told about this. Um, he said he found out after the the um, the February. So between that that that's a long time, and then he fought in October. The timelines are not making sense. They're not quite making sense. So if he found out in February and then he decided to ignore this art problem and then fight in October, it doesn't quite make sense. So he мне сказал, если ты планируешь провести большую карьеру, долго выступать, давайте проведем маленькую операцию РЧА. Просто мне у меня сердце билось как у обычного человека и в другом месте еще один скачок давал, как лишний раз у меня сердце билось и просто это место прижиганием. Убрали просто эту проблему и все. А, то есть это... этого больше не существует, да. все в порядке. Да, пусть... Окей, okay, so, uh, the surgery was called cardiac ablation. So I looked into this surgery, as you do, and the recovery time for cardiac ablation is roughly around three months. It's roughly around three months. That's, uh... We've got an ice cream van. You might be able to hear that. I looked into cardiac ablation, and they said the timeline for it is around three months recovery time. So... If you had the surgery in November, December, um, we're talking February to, to get like over the, the surgery, start that training, um, and then you can start that training in February, March, I'd say. That 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 is the normal recovery time. Now, um the, the kind of surgery that they do a cardiac ablation is the they shove something up a vein. I've looked at photographs, I can't show the photographs. Um, of incisions and stuff like that. But have a look at it because this is interesting. If you have a cardiac ablation, you'd you'd fucking see it on someone's body. You'd fucking see it on someone's body. Um, it leaves loads of bruising, loads of uh, scarring. Uh, it's it's not... Um, it, it's, it's, it's a very invasive procedure. They're shoving something up your vein. It, they, I think they can make an incision in your bicep, in, in your arm somewhere, also in the side of your chest. I've looked at the pictures. It, the, the thing looks fucking terrifying. I'm not going to lie. It looks terrifying. Uh, the, the bruises it leaves, the scarring. It wouldn't be... He fought, basically, he fights in April. He fights... Um, was it Chris Wade? I think he fought. It was Chris... Yes, Chris Wade. He fights Chris Wade. Now, I looked at pictures of that. And I'll pop one up. You, look, look at the pictures of the of, of Chris Wade and Islam Makachev fighting. There's no bruising. There's no scarring. There's no incisions under the armpit on the side. There's no incisions in his biceps. There's no bruising. None of it. Interesting. Interesting. And why that's interesting is you remember the Danuka uh, comments in the IV because he had bruising on his arm for the IV, which there was a lot of controversy over. But 
I'm, basically, what I'm getting at is I don't think he had this surgery. I do not. I think he, he made it up because malodronium is given after certain heart surgeries. That is the, that is the point of malodronium. Malodronium can be given after certain heart surgeries. Okay, so why is that important? It's important because malodronium. What, what does malodronium do, first of all? Right, so you might see this is... Uh, Sharapova. I don't know if you remember Sharapova, Russian tennis player that got done for the same drug, malodronium, which she took for a long, long time. Um, let's let's have a look. What what does malodronium do? You say okay. Um, uh, I'm doing this on the fly. I should have been a bit more prepared. There's an article here on the wiki page of Sharapova. And it kind of explains what, what actually malodonium is. Uh, maldonium is not approved for use in the US. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Sharapova's country of residence uh, is the US, so that's why she got done for it. However, it is a, it is legal to use in Russia. No no wonder. I mean, Ru Russia's uh, getting banned left and right, and, uh, left, right and center from many sports. Uh, the country that Sharapova represents in tennis. The drugs inventor, Ivos Calvin, said that he did not think taking it could be construed as doping. Uh, but it's become very popular among athletes and was used by the Soviet military. Why was it used for the Soviet mil military, I, I ask? Uh, for optimizing the use of oxygen. A bit like EPO. A bit like EPO, and that it allows athletes to train under maximum strain. Maximum strain. So, and it, it, Mr. Ivos Calvin, whatever his fucking name is, he's trying to tell you that, um, that it, it, it's not doping. It's not doping, but it allows you to train longer. It gives you more blood in your oxygen, a bit similar to EPO. A lot of the fucking Russians are, are taking this. Um, this is what Sharapova got popped for. Hmm. Same thing that, that uh, Islam Makachev's been uh, done for. Except he came up with this concoction that, that he had an art surgery. I do not believe he had an art surgery. I think he made the story up. Um, you know why I think that? Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get back to that. We're gonna get back to that. So we're gonna pull uh, the the video back up. Because there's more. There's more interestingly. Все, что, что я провел эту маленькую операцию, и после этого не было никаких проблем. Я общался с этим врачом, он мне говорил, малышка, по-моему, биатлонист. Я говорю, ему делал операцию, и он через полгода Олимпиаду выиграл. Autoblation surgery and stuff like that, but he's he's, he's claiming that he's had it, so we're not looking into that. Так что ты можешь не волноваться, можем провести операцию все. И вот так я оперировал. Тогда даже дома никому. So the the surgery apparently completely fixed it, um, completely fixed it, and he described, I think, uh, maldonium as. Vitamins for the art. That that's how he described it. Well, it's not vitamins for the art, is it? It's to give you more oxygen to the art, which might be necessary for someone post op, uh, post art surgery. Ничего не сказал. Друг я только другу, брату там троим четырем людям сказал и поехал в Москву провел эту операцию на сердце. Но по любому потом, когда начались у меня проблемы с мельдониями. И у меня был весь список этих документов, вот такая пачка там, вся история болезни, как я все медосследования проходил. И oh, вот you, когда меня поймали на мельдо... Did you hear that? Okay, uh, well, did you read it, in fact? Did you read that? Did you see it on screen? At the bottom, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the subtitles, it said, I did not tell anyone. Hmm. I did not tell anyone. Why didn't you tell anyone, Islam? And I, I, when it, when he means he didn't tell anyone, he didn't tell his mom, he didn't tell his family, he didn't tell anyone. He really did not tell anyone. Hmm. Hmm. And then when he got popped by Usada, all of a sudden he's asking, uh, you know, quick, get send me documents, send me these documents for his proof, um, 
This, that, and the other. That I, I've had heart surgery. Hmm. Who the fuck has heart surgery and doesn't tell the fucking mom? Who does that? That's a bit sketchy to me. It's a bit sketchy to me. Hmm. We continue. Я не я брату быстро позвонил, скинь мне все мои документы, всё надо отсканировать и мне отправить. Брат сказал хорошо. И оставил эти все на документы на столе просто дома. И мама посмотрела, что за документы и всю ночь там изучала эти все документы и потом Okay, right. Who the fuck keeps the medical records? Now he now he's saying that oh uh, when I had the the Maldonian problem basically when you saw the you know he, he popped for Maldonian on the you saw the test he was like oh I just get a stack of uh, medical records because everyone just keeps them at home apparently stacks of uh, evidence waiting and it's almost like he was expecting this to come back almost like he was expecting this hmm okay. All right, and so he called his brother, probably like the only person that knew we, uh, about this whole incident. Uh, hmm. I'm just saying that it's looking a bit. It's not looking good. That that to me is the sign. And look at him, hiding his head in shame. Shame. He's a rat. He's a rat. He is. He's a doping, drug cheating rat. Anyway. Звонит с такими эмоциями. Ты что, ты провел эту операцию, никому ничего не сказал, короче. Я там пытался объяснить, что это мелочь, но родителям не объяснишь. Ну да. Мельдони был в том случае для восстановления, да, уже сердца? А, Мельдони, да, я, у меня прописано было это врачом тоже. И в то время у нас на сборах все сборные России получали, ну, это да, был... как спортивное питание, нам выделяли... По самбо на сборах, вот каждому спортсмену там 10 медикаментов каких-то, там всякие аптечные витамины. Витамин, витамин, витамин. so they, they graze over the fact that he, he, he didn't tell his mom that he had heart surgery. Didn't tell his mom that he had heart surgery. And then she finds out. And the reporter does not question that. Does not ask, what did your mom, what, what, what did your mom say to you? Like, did she slap you? My mom would have slapped me. She would have... Come on, what are you playing at? Um, so you used Maldonium to recover after surgery. This is the bit where he talks about it being vitamins. He, he kind of plays it off a little bit. Аптечные mm -hmm. витамины и все принимали, а потом оказалось, что это держится шесть-семь месяцев в организме, а я никогда не принимал мельдони там курсом каким-то. Просто мог пойти в шкафу увидел пачку, там поел таблетку и все. Mm -hmm. Ну, кто знает, что это такое, что yeah. такое мелодранат. Все поймут, что это самая натуральная аскорбинка all, просто для всех. All, kind of all kinds of vitamins. That, that's what he's trying to play it off as. Oh, it's just a vitamin for you. It doesn't do anything. Uh, then it turned out that maldonium remains in the body for six to seven months. I wasn't taking it regularly, he says. He wasn't taking it regularly. Apparently, uh, it stays in, in for six to seven months. So... Right, this is where the timeline gets very interesting. So we fought Chris Wade in April. He had this art surgery in November, December. And three months. What what's that? Say say December. December, January, February. Uh so he starts training in March and then he fights in April. Yeah, what's that about? What's that about? Starts training in March and fights in April. Because I've read it, I've read into uh, art surgery ablation, uh, ab art ablation surgery, and it says you, you shouldn't be doing strenuous activities during recovery. <coughs> Especially because it's to do with the art. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Rats! Rats! Fucking rats. Cheat! Большинство anyway. бойцов постоянно что-то умал, умалчивают о своем здоровье. Сто процентов, я думаю, да. Это нормально или это может привести к каким-то плохим последствиям? Это, я думаю, может, ну, может привести. Ну, я думаю, если адекватный спортсмен. Ну, вот, например, я пошел, я сразу пошел к врачу. There we go. И решил проблему. Let's have a look. 
you know, that it's like a vitamin for the art. That's what he's, he's trying to pass Maldonium, the performance enhancing drug that, that feeds oxygen to your art to allow you to strain under maximum uh, capacity. And that's why it's given after heart surgery, I reckon, because it needs that extra oxygen to repair and recover. But E is saying it's just, it's just a vitamin. It's just a vitamin. It doesn't do anything. It just gives you a bit of a, a bit more calcium, a bit more vitamin A. A bit more vitamin A. Vitamin rats. That's why he is. Vitamin rats. He's a rat. He's a drug cheat. He is. He is a drug cheat. Okay, so moving on to the next bit, you saw the uh, leaked a press statement um, on July 2016, but he popped on April 4th. It was the April 4th out of competition urine sample that was taken. That was the reason why he popped. Um, he fought Chris Wade in, sorry, he fought Chris Wade in September uh, 2016. So September 2016. Uh, that, that was when he fought uh, Chris Wade, sorry. Uh, but he popped in April. That's why I was getting mixed up. Where so he popped out of out of a competition drug test in April. Uh, so that would have been around the time I think he, he could have started light training again, ready for the fight. Okay. So interesting, interesting. And he popped in April. Okay. So Ariel Alwani posted this tweet in April 2016, and it says Machev had an art procedure 13 months ago. Piers manager Ali Abdulaziz. He said that's why he had Maldonium in his system. That's why it was in his system. Hmm. So he didn't tell his mom, but he tells Ali Abdelaziz. I don't buy it. I don't buy it, man. I, I think he's full of shit. He's full of shit. And anyway, 13 months ago. So according to that, he had the surgery in March 2015. Which doesn't make sense because in the interview... Makachev, he doesn't say specific dates, funnily enough. He doesn't say them because he doesn't want to get caught out. He said that the Russian uh, championships, the Sambo championships were in February. And there was a delay in telling him. Uh, there was a delay in telling him uh, about the information, about the art thing. Uh, but he found out not too long after that. Makachev actually said it, it, was a, it was when he was going to the World Sambo championships in October. And he got pulled from it. it. Not October, sorry, November. And when he was on the way to the World Championships or preparing for it, a week before he was going to Japan, he got pulled and he said he couldn't go because of this art problem. And he had to have surgery. Ali Abdelaziz is saying that the surgery took, took place several months before that. So wh what's going on? Another lie that they've been caught out on. Another lie. You rats! You rats! It, it, it enrages me. Rages me. Rats. They're lying. They're lying. They're clearly lying. He said 13 months ago. It wasn't 13 months ago. He got pulled from the Sambo Championships in November. So it can't be true. It can't be true. It can't, be, it can't be true. It is a lie. And there's another lie that you've been caught out on. I did. I, it, what more can you say? What more can we say? Here's some clarity. So, during Yusada's investigation of the case, it was discovered that Makachev underwent a radiofrequency ablation procedure for frequent ventriloquy, ventriloquy uh, arrhythmia. In December of 2014, um, in November of uh, 2015, Makachev's physician recommended that Makachev incorporate maladonium and non-prescriptive medication into his follow-up treatment plan and as a preventative measure against a potential relapse. Makachev then used maladonium for four weeks. Not according to Makachev. In that interview, Makachev said... He didn't really use it. He, it was just something that he used as and when. He would pop one because it was like a vitamin. He didn't need to take it all the time. He didn't tell USADA that. He told USADA that he was taking it for four weeks from late November to uh, late December 2015. 
USADA confirmed that Makachev discontinued use of substance prior to January 1st, 2016 because he was aware that the substance would be added to the water prohibited list and banned under the UFC anti-doping program. No, he didn't. He didn't say that in the interview. After a, a forward review of the case, USADA concluded that extremely low maldonium concentration in the athlete's urine sample combined with the athlete's explanation of use was consistent with ingestion prior to the substance being officially prohibited. I do not believe it. I think they paid some doctor in Russia, some backstreet doctor to get some medical files just uh, printed off. And they sent them into the UFC. Well, not the UFC, to Water, USADA, whoever the... Wabada, Uganda, I don't know who, 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 who they send them to. Water and USADA, Water and USADA. They send them off to Water and USADA. These backstreet doctor's notes. And they fake it. I, I think it's fake because he's a drug chief. He's a dirty, dirty drug chief. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.